If your health has been neglected for longer than you care to admit, you may feel overwhelmed about what to do about it. So much may have gone wrong over the years. Where do you even begin? In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain how two simple tests, when read properly, can most rapidly provide a path to reach your health goals, whether that means to improve your health, reverse disease, improve performance, or live longer and better. Before I begin, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. This channel is dedicated to providing you as much value as possible for improving your health and the health of those you influence. Please use the comment section to request topics of interest for future posts or to ask me any questions you like. Okay, let's frame the conversation before I explain the two tests that will give you the most value and can quite frankly make the biggest difference for your health and for your performance and for your longevity. Once you've determined that the simple formula of eat right and exercise is just far too simplistic or not enough to overcome all of the issues, the next step is to make a commitment to learning and then doing. Learning what it takes to get your health back and doing what it takes to get your health back. The first step is to learn what your starting point is or what we would call your baseline. You can't get where you're going if you don't know where you are. The next step once you know where you are, is to better define where you'd like to be. The smaller and more precise the target, the closer you're likely to get to that target. You'll be able to better define the milestones to reach in the short, medium, and long term. The path from where you are to where you want to be must have clarity. For some people, the distance from where they are to where they want to be may not be too far off. There may be a few, if any, obstacles in between. And if that defines you, then some version of moderation or eat right and exercise is a simple solution that just requires a little discipline, some momentum, and perhaps some accountability. But for most of you, especially those seeking help from doctors like myself, that path might be very long, it may not be very clear, and it might be filled with obstacles that could derail you. Maybe years have passed. It may have been 10, 20, or 30 years since finishing school, starting your career, building your family. During that time, you may not have put a premium on your health, and you're now dealing with the need for weight loss, managing arthritis, limitations in your joints, Perhaps you're afraid to wake up that bulging or herniated disc you got a while back. Maybe you're taking medications to deal with your blood pressure, your cholesterol, blood sugar, thyroid. You may have one or more of the conditions that have plagued your parents and therefore, after all, how can you even change your genetics, right? Maybe your hormones are off, like testosterone or estrogen. A list can be long and overwhelming. You've heard terms that may apply to you, like insulin resistance, acid reflux, irritable bowel syndrome, brain fog, fatty liver, chemical imbalance, and more. Best way to find out where your starting point is is to understand your metabolic state. Understanding your metabolic state means to know how your body extracts, produces, utilizes, and stores energy from the food you eat and the air you breathe. Your metabolic state is your baseline, and it's best determined by looking at three major areas. What's in your blood, like a comprehensive wellness panel. How is what's in your blood circulated, delivered, utilized, and disposed of during activity, rest, digestion, fasting, working, sleeping, and detoxing? And then finally, use your posture and your breathing. Ideally, these factors are best determined by a comprehensive blood test together with breath testing. Blood tests are for the purpose of understanding all of your body systems and how far from optimal those systems are. And breath testing is to understand how what's in your blood is distributed, utilized, absorbed, and of course expelled. Each of these tests separately can provide a wealth of information for the trained clinician to design a program of health restoration, disease reversal, and optimal performance and longevity. These two tests together with proper interpretation and program design can predict or provide the status and path to defining and achieving your goals in the least amount of time and the least amount of effort, while at the same time eliminating about 95% of our nation's healthcare bill. What's interesting is that every medical doctor is taught to simply read blood work in the context of diagnosing and then treating disease with medication, with virtually zero attention paid to optimizing your health. When it comes to breath analysis, they have, again, zero experience, unless maybe they went into sports medicine and learned the science in the context of the elite athletic performance and not improving your metabolic health. Breath analysis provides the single most accepted and proven markers for longevity, as well as accurately identifying existing heart disease. Breath testing is as specific and accurate as nuclear stress testing without the expense 
or the exposure to radiation. And it's a far better predictor of future heart disease than any other test that you can think of. Ask your cardiologist, why would they rather pay $5,000 for a nuclear stress test and choose to not pay for a simple breath analysis at all? Please let me know in the comments what they tell you. In upcoming videos, we're going to discuss exactly what these tests are, what markers we're checking, and what we're actually learning from them. Because I believe the more you know, the more informed you are, the better questions you can ask your doctor.